So you join me today in Alton, and I'm carrying on my challenge visiting stations in the Alton, Aldershot, Guildford and Ascot areas. And we've visited about five stations already, but I'm going to carry on and visit the rest in this video as I head my way towards Ascot. Let's head into Alton Station now to take a look at Alton. <laughs> So I'm now on the platform at Alton Station, right behind me is my next train that I'll be leaving Alton on, the 1344 Southwestern Railway Service to London Waterloo. But before I leave, let's talk about Alton Station, because this station opened on the 2nd of October 1865, replacing the site of the first station, which opened 1852. Now both stations were opened by the London Southwestern Railway, but the reason this station was recited as the Alton, Arlesford and Winchester Railway Company were building a line from Winchester to Alton, which opened in 1865 but closed in 1973. Part of that line is now part of the Midhands Railway or the Watercrest Line. Two more lines were added in 1900. The Meon Valley Railway, which was owned by the London South Western Railway, opened Alton to Fareham in 1903. That line closed in 1968 and the Basingstoke and Alton Light Railway opened in 1901 but closed in 1930. Now I'm going to be leaving Alton now and head on the train to Ashvale which is the next station I'm stopping off at which is just one stop beyond Aldershot. So we have stopped at Bentley Station, which only gets an hourly service. If you have not seen the video with Bentley Station yet, I do suggest to go and watch it because Bentley is just an awesome station to go to. This is in Hampshire, by the way, not South Yorkshire. <laughs> So after a ride from Alton, we have reached Ash Vale, and this station is a junction station. The line carries on towards Brookwood on the southwestern Bay Line towards London Waterloo, but the line does branch off here to head to Ascot, which you're going to be focusing on for the remainder of the video. Now, even though there's another station in the area called Ash, the walk between Ash Vale to Ash actually takes about 44 minutes. But there is another station that is very close by called North Camp which is roughly about a 15 minute walk from this railway station. And that station, North Camp, is on the North Downs line between Reading and Guildford. So I'm now going to dive into the history at Ash Vale Station. This station opened on the 2nd of May 1870 by the London and South Western Railway but was given the name North Camp and Ash Vale. It wasn't until 1924 it was renamed to Ash Vale. And we're going to be leaving Ash Vale on the 1434 South Western Railway service to get to Frimley which is the first station on the line towards Ascot. So as I mentioned at Ash Vale, the line towards Ascot branches off there. But for a bit, it actually goes single track. But then just south of this station, it actually comes back as a double track line. But the station coming at is Frimley. And believe it or not, it's got a very lovely station building as well. But if you notice on the station building, it has the company's logos of the London Southwestern Railway. And it's also got a date at 1877. 
That's because this station actually opened in 1877 by the London and South Western Railway. I don't know why, but the footbridge at Frimley reminds me of the footbridge at Rugy Town and Rugy Trev Valley, to be honest. Just has that 1990s look to the station footbridge. Now, I've only got 30 minutes here because I'm leaving on the 1510 Southwestern Railway Service at Ascot. Now, the next station is Camberley, but this is where a bit of the problem with the change comes in because some service patterns during the ASNEF overtime ban is bit different to how it should be because I think this light is, does have a half an hour frequency but the service patterns are every 30 minutes then an hour then another every 30 minutes then another hour so when I get to Camberley I do actually have an hour at that railway station to relax to be honest as I carry on my journey towards Ascot I think this is the first time I had technical difficulties with this new camera. I don't know what happened, but for some strange reason, it recorded my train arriving into Frimley and Camberley, which is where I'm currently at, in super slow motion. <laughs> I don't know how the hell I managed to do that, but I managed to sort it out now. So that's why there was no footage of the train arriving at Frimley and the train even at Camberley. I knew this day was going to be a challenging day, but not with myself, to be honest, with these railway stations. <laughs> so a bit of history about Camberley Station. It opened in 1878 by the London and South Western Railway, but when it was opened, it was actually known as Camberley and York Road, and it only had one platform. 15 years later, a second platform was added here at this railway station. The one thing I noticed with Camberley Station is the station building right behind me here. It looks different, to be honest. Really different, but it looks like it has seen better days, to be honest, because it's a lot rusty. But also at Camberley, it's got a lovely footbridge and it's got a level crossing here as well. Now I'll be leaving on the 1618 Southwestern Railway Service to my next station, Bagshot. So I'm going to hop over to the other side now, get the train arriving, and let's head to Bagshot. So now on the train headed towards Bagshot. Now the one thing I have noticed with Camberley is that the trains do actually wait here for a good four or five minutes. Anyway, we're just going now. But most of the timetable they do actually wait here between four or five minutes. So the one thing I forgot to mention at Camberley is that the current station I'm at Bagshot is the penultimate station. There's just one more station after this, and that's Ascot. But what I've noticed with Bagshot is it's got a lovely station building. A lot of stations I've visited today have got lovely station buildings. But the best thing about Bagshot is, is the footbridge. Definitely Southern Railways with that concrete style footbridge. So 
So I'm now going to dive into the history of Bagshot, and to be honest, there's not really much to say about it. It opened on the 18th of March, 1878, by the London and South Western Railway. And I'm going to hop over the footbridge now to catch my next and final train to Ascot, which leaves here at 16.53. So we have now made it to the final station. This is Ascot, which is between London, Waterloo and Reading on the South Western Railway network. And this station is very unusual with its layout because it's got three platforms, but platform one has one track going through it, but then there's another platform on the other side, which is fenced up, and that's platform two. It's a bit hard to explain, but hopefully the pictures show you justice, to be honest. But honestly though, you can also change here for services to Ash Vale and on to Aldershot, which is the line we just travelled on as well. So let's dive into the history of Ascot. It opened on the 4th of June 1856 by the Staines, Wokingham and Woking Junction Railway. I'll try and say that three times fast to be honest. But not so long after it opened, it was extended to Wokingham. Now in 1878, the light of Ash Vale opened and in 1857, it was actually named Ascot and Sunning Hill but it was reverted back to Ascot in 1921. So the one thing I could take away from this 11 station change that I've set out for today is, is how many beautiful stations they are on this part of the network. Like when I was thinking of which ones to do, I wasn't quite sure, so I thought, you know what, let's just do all of them. And to be honest, visiting all the 11 stations have really been wonderful. Also with the ASNF overtime ban, there's not been a train cancelled, but there has been trains that were taken off the system, but that was before I planned it. And the plan to visit all these 11 stations have really gone well, to be honest. But I'm going to drop a video right here. Feel free to give that a click if you've not seen it yet. The people on screen are YouTube channel members and Patreon supporters. Thank you for supporting the channel. I've been Side Trace. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you next Sunday for another video. And I'm off on the train now back to London.